Thanks for the opportunity to share this message with you today. It's a transition. We are all in times of change and transition. As a community, as a church, as a state. Two weeks ago, we could not do diddly squat. But now, we can travel in our state, we can have gatherings of 20 people, gyms are starting to open, camping, attendance at weddings, funerals has been increased. Slowly, 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 things are opening. We are in a time of transition. But for us as a church community, no doubt you're asking, hey, what are we going to do? Your safety and your health is very important to us. So I'm pleased to announce that on the 12th of July, that will be our Back to Valley Drive Sunday. There'll be further information as that day gets closer, but we are taking things slow. This morning I'd like us to open our Bibles to Acts chapter 3. Looking at the first few verses there. One day Peter and John were going up to the temple at the time of prayer, at three in the afternoon. Now a man who was lame from birth was being carried to the temple gate called Beautiful where he was put every day to beg from those going into the temple courts. When he saw Peter and John about to enter, he asked them for money. Peter looked straight at him, as did John. Then Peter said, Look at us. So the man gave them his attention, expecting to get something from them. Then Peter said, Silver or gold I do not have. But what I have I give to you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, walk. Taking him by the right hand, he helped him up and instantly the man's feet and ankles became strong. He jumped to his feet and began to walk. Then he went with them into the temple courts, walking and jumping and praising God. When all the people saw him walking and praising God, they recognised him as the same man who used to sit and beg at the temple gate called Beautiful. And they were filled with wonder and amazement at what had happened to him. I'm talking today to anyone who is in a transition. This will be a significant time. It's the most significant place of opportunity and it's the most vulnerable place of insecurity. One day, Peter and John were going up to the temple at the time of prayer. It's three in the afternoon. And now a man who was lame from birth was being carried to the temple gate called Beautiful, where he was put every day to beg. Everything I just read is transitional. Our lives are constantly changing. Now more than ever, we are adapting, we are reassessing, we're listening, we're reading, we're considering what we can do next, what we can do now, what's to come. We're in a transition. Peter and John are on their way to the temple. It's the hour of prayer. It's a transitional time. And so they head off. They are also transitioning in their ministry. 
Because up to this point, they have always had Jesus with them in his human form to supervise their miracle working attempts and efforts. And sometimes they didn't get it right and he was there to correct and encourage and to guide them. But he is not there in his human form and they are in a transition. It's three in the afternoon, it's time to go to the temple, time to go to church, as every good Jew would do. But there's a man who was lame from birth, he's being carried to the temple gate, where he's put every day to beg from those going into the temple court. The church is in a place of transition as the Holy Spirit is manifested and is working through the apostles with signs and wonders. Peter and John are in a transition. They're on their way to the temple and they encounter a lame man who's being carried. The best place for a beggar to be was to get people on their way into the temple. It would have been a popular spot. Before they gave their offering, you might be in luck to score a few coins, to score some money from them. He wasn't even in his spot yet when God decided to give him a miracle. I think many of us Think that if only we could get to this point or accomplish this or if I could fix that or, or establish this or move, move through that. I want us to see that this is a transitional miracle. The church hasn't even started yet and God is already on the scene. God does not need for your life to be at a certain point where people say it should be in order to bless you. So this is for everyone who is in transition. Life, work, relationships, study, school, health issues, the easing of restrictions. God was ready to do a miracle even before the man was set up at his begging spot. God is going to bless you on the way. He's going to meet you. He's going to cut you off on the way to your spot. Friends, God is most active in what I call moments of transition and instability. God is in the middle of whatever's going on right now. Right now, bang smack in the middle, ready to bring change. It's interesting, when God changes our life, our situation and our surroundings will change as well. This is a transition. The author Luke, as he is compiling a history of the early church, he is transitioning from an ex explanation to a demonstration. It's one thing to believe something, but it's a whole new level to practically demonstrate it in your life day by day. Every time God is moving you forward in your life, there will be a period, a period of transitional instability. In this passage, the lame man had never walked before in his life. He's been carried to the gate. Peter and John are heading to the temple. And in this period of transition, God sets up a moment for transformation. 
And when it happens, it surprises not only the onlookers, but also Peter and John, who are just heading to their prayer meeting. Look at this. The first miracle that is recorded in the book of Acts was waiting in something everybody else was stepping over to get to where they deemed more important. So Peter and John are on their way. Throughout the Bible, God is active on the journey, on the way, as they went through. God is at work in the in-between. We're heading to a, a fixed point, but God interrupts our day, for God is in the middle bit. Jesus would often stop and do a miracle. You know that feeding the 5,000 was not on Jesus' schedule. He was just trying to get somewhere else. He just wanted to teach. Some of the greatest stuff God will do in your day and in my day in our lives will be not in our five-year plan, was not on our radar, was not in our schedule. They're just trying to get to church. And the man is just trying to survive another day, another week. They meet in transition. The man is in transition. Peter and John are in transition and God is in position. Acts 3, 4, Peter looked straight at him, as did John. Then Peter said, look at us. So the man gave them his attention, expecting to get something from them. He was expecting the wrong sort of change. The things I've learned about Jesus is he always goes above and beyond our expectations. Don't be too disappointed if God didn't give you what you wanted because he knew what you needed. This man in this moment is to, about to receive a change that he even, didn't even have the faith or the knowledge to ask for. He thought he was just going to get through another day. Peter is like, I've got a change for you. Because Jesus' name, his name, brings power and authority. Verse 6 of Acts 3. Then Peter said, silver or gold I don't have, but what I do have I give you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, walk. Peter is saying, let's get past what you expected. I don't have any silver or gold, but what I do have is a name. Because in my name you get nothing. Because I have limited strength, lim limited power and ability. But I'm not operating under my authority. Hey, receive this. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, walk. Walk. He goes and takes the guy by his right hand. He helps him up. The man's legs and feet become strong. So he jumps up and he begins walking, jumping, leaping and praising God. He got a change he was not expecting. Look for God on the way, friends. Look for God on the way. It's a transition in every home and across every screen. Let us give God praise today for what he has done and what he will do in Jesus name. Amen.